What's up YouTube, Jay here. A while back I posted a video about using the Tesseract OCR tool from the command line. This is great if you want to script the text extraction or if you have files with confidential information in them, but some people found it difficult to install Tesseract or just wanted an easier way to extract text. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Tesseract to extract text from an image in your browser without having to install anything on your computer. This video will use a version of Tesseract that can be run in the browser called Tesseract.js, which is built and maintained by Kevin Kwok, Jerome Wu, and some others. I'm not associated with this project or the maintainers, other than the fact that I've contributed a small bug fix to their website. But if you find their site helpful, make sure to give them some love. In your browser, go to tesseract.projectnaptha.com and you'll see this site. On the left, you'll see an image, and on the right, you'll see the text that was extracted from the image. From here, open up File Explorer, and then drag and drop an image onto the page. I have a few images with text in them that I used for a recent video on running TypeScript scripts in VS Code, so I'll grab one of these. As I drag and drop the image, you'll see it takes a few seconds to process, and then it outputs the text on the right. I can continue to drag and drop more images to extract text from them as well. One disclaimer that I do have to add is to keep in mind that you are submitting these images to someone else's website online. At the time of this recording, the images never actually travel across the network. The OCR work is done via WebAssembly in your browser, and you can even look at the source code for this site and verify that for yourself. The team at Project Naptica don't appear to be doing anything suspicious, but that said, it's typically better to be safe than sorry, and it would be easy for this site to change in the future and make it so that the files submitted for text extraction are sent to the owner's server and have the text extraction done server-side. For that reason, I wouldn't use the site for images containing sensitive information, such as a tax return or a direct deposit check or anything like that, but this is a super convenient way to extract text from non-sensitive screenshots, comics, or similar things to that. Well, that's it for this video. In the future, I plan to release a few more videos related to using Tesseract and also coding and programming videos. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. If you found the video helpful, please like it so that more people will see it. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.